All right, so um, I guess the first two questions can go hand in hand because it references a male figure, which I will include my dad into the description of teaching me about women and uh, teaching me anything in general. So I guess we'll start off with women. Um, one of the most important things that my dad has provided for me is the understanding of communication. Because one of the biggest things that lead to our misunderstanding in certain parts of relationships is not being able to hear the next person. So, you know, definitely ensuring the best of yourself and the best of her world, too. And that will ensure better communication on both ends. And that will ensure a better relationship. You will get more understanding. You won't really get any uh, disagreements, you know interpretations you won't get any confusion things of that nature i mean nobody's perfect everybody's gonna have their own opinions on things you know sometimes things are gonna clash but you know the main thing is to try and see a uh, perspective of both worlds uh -oh. and i guess the uh anything else that my dad has told me is to provide structure within myself to become further faster than him and anybody else before him because he lived in a in a time where, you know, success was very little and he provides, you know, a lot for me and my brothers to succeed. So, you know, to to use the term further faster in anything in life, you know, women, school, uh, jobs, uh, you know, anything, you know, he always provides the utmost for us. And we expect that, you know, there's nothing less with that. And the last question, did my mom teach me how to conduct myself with women? For example, saying something in reference of being a gentleman. Of course, <laughs> of course. I mean, everybody knows me knows that I'm not that type of person to, to run down game like that and disrespect a woman at all. You know, gentleman like is what I feel, I feel, will get any woman. And I, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's it's way past the, the looks. It's way past the words that you say. Anybody can be smooth. Anybody can use, you know, the same generic quotes. But one thing that my mom has taught me is to understand. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand with what my dad is saying. But uh, the understanding and the communication from a woman's perspective. You know, understanding that women tend to have conversation emotionally but they don't tend to have conversations logically at times and I don't understand that very much but I think it's just the nature of a woman and that's not their fault and that's not our fault so I guess for me I have to understand that you know emotionally something is wrong and logically I have to see from a different approach okay how do I fix this you know I could teach her I could tell her the facts she may even understand it but emotionally there still might be something wrong so my mom just teaches me to consider one's feelings because you never know how they feel. You know, just because they feel the way that they feel doesn't make it right or wrong. So, yeah, that's that's the questions. Thank you for having me. Hello, my name is Siobhan. And um, yeah, today I'm here to talk about my experience growing up when it came to um, masculinity, being a man, being a boy. Um, and uh, in relation to respect for women and just whether or not my father, my mother, other people in my life talked to me about that and really, you know, educated me on, on, on those types of things. So, um, yeah, one of the first questions that I'm going to answer is whether or not my dad uh, taught me about, you know, respect for women and um, and that type of stuff you know, cordialness, being cordial. Um, so yeah, uh, my dad, he, I will say that he um, most definitely played a huge part in me uh, today in terms of how I have respect for for women and, and don't really go around just being super disrespectful or sexualizing or just being misogynist and stuff like that. Um, at the same time, I don't think there was ever really a time that he like sat me down personally and like said to me, hey, look, here's the deal, here's the, the one-two punch, you know what I'm saying, here's the, here's the ingredients to the recipe, like, he didn't really sit down, and, like, full-on talk to me about it, I don't think, I don't think there was ever a moment where that was a thing, but, you know, there was always just the little things, like, when it came to how I viewed him, how I viewed him in, in relation to him, uh, with my mom, and how they had a great, they've always had a great relationship, 
And yes, obviously there's always ups and downs, like every relationship and everything with uh, a kid's parents sometimes. For the most part, my dad was always respectful and he never did anything crazy to my mom. He never talked to her in, in a crazy type of way or anything like that. And I'd say that really did play a huge role in me and how I, you know, interact with my girlfriend or how I have with other girls in the past or just women in general, how I view women. Um, my dad was never really inappropriate. And I feel like when you grow up in a household and you, you, when you grow up in a household, you allow your parents or the people or the things around you in your environment to affect you. And honestly, my dad, he didn't do anything. He didn't have any red flags or red signs. There was only really good stuff for me to look at or see. And that sort of impacted me in a way, even though he didn't like sit down and talk to me full on about it. Not from what I can remember, at least. Um... Another question that I'm going to be answering is whether or not anybody else did. Anybody in my sphere, you know, in my circle, whether or not they talked to me about that type of thing. And honestly, uh, I think it would be the same thing. I mean, you know, I don't think my uncle or anybody like that ever really sat down and talked to me about that kind of thing. Honestly, never really happened. But in my in my experience, I never really grew up. I grew up around good people. And so I didn't really grow up around people that were disrespectful towards women or weren't um, didn't seem all there. <laughs> so, um, for the most part, even though I didn't sit down and hear it from someone, for the most part, from what I can remember, it was still pretty good. And then finally, I'm going to be answering, uh, what's the final one? I forgot the last one that I was going to be answering. My mother, there we go. Good old fashioned mom. Did she ever sit down and talk to me about these kinds of things? Now she didn't like sit down, you know, skirt, put a chair, put a chair, plop me down, and just have a full-blown conversation with me about this kind of things. I don't think she did. However, she did definitely play a huge role, again, like, um, I say with her, she definitely did always say stuff, like, and she still does, honestly, even though I'm, like, 20 now, but she'll say stuff like, oh, you know, do this for, for a girl, or do that, or maybe you should open the door, or maybe you should get her that, or come on, like, be nice, blah, 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 and, you know, that, that plays a part in my consciousness, and, how I view women or how I, I've interacted around women or my own girlfriend and stuff like that. So once again, you know, of course I love my mom. So I've always, I grew up looking out for her, I feel. So that kind of in turn also allowed me to uh, want to, I want only the best for, for women and stuff like that, you know. So yeah, I'd say that's my experience with women, the other gender. The opposite one. The one that's the opposite of me. Because I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? I'm... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to end the video now. So, I got some very good life experiences about women from my dad. Um, he definitely told me a lot of stories of what he did in the past. Um, and definitely some observations that I've seen with him and my mother. Um... My dad was kind of like a papi chulo, they call him back in the day, because he's Puerto Rican, so, you know, he always got the ladies because of the looks or whatever. Um, but he definitely taught me a lot of good things, especially just, like, you know, respecting um, a woman, um, making sure she's protected, making sure she's loved, and making sure she's taken care of. Um, and, of course, those concepts evolved now as we grow up and became more household of was a setting of a woman is as equal as you. So, you know, you, you're both utilizing y'all strengths for each other. So, but definitely my dad taught me some, some, some respectful things to do to a woman. Um, he definitely gave me to talk about the birds and the bees, um, what to do if I'm, you know, um, sexually active when I was like well, around 17, 18. So he definitely did a lot for that. As far as other male figures, of course, you have the movies, you have the the CDs and music artists that you always follow. Um, I always used to follow Genuine and um, B2K. Um, and I begin like a lot of the, the, the cues from the, a lot of the music videos that come out. Um, which are cool because the music videos are like very hyperized version of like, you know, stuff that you want to do. And I definitely had books and other reference points. Family members as well. I had a cousin that definitely was like a, a woman's, a ladies man type of deal. And I always followed his cues and on what he did to, you know, pick up on girls or, you know, get to introduce themselves and, you know, stuff like that. And of course, 
your mother is going to be that 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 focal point of you know how to how to take care of a woman like you always want to put your mother in that situation like would you do that to your mother would you do the action that you are doing to your mom if it's bad or good um she definitely showed me how to respect the woman how um how of a nurturer a woman is because seeing my mom take care of me i've seen how much a woman can become from birth to mom, like it's just a whole different transformation, and, and I got to see that with with my mom, and she definitely taught me a lot of skills for that as well. And just she's always, you know, she always had the instinct of vibes and answers to my women questions when I try to ask about, you know, why this particular lady is talking like this, or why she's not talking to me at all, or you know, I can get some good advice from her because you know she knows the deal, she went through it all, so. Um, to answer the question, did my dad teach me about women? Mm, I would say, yeah, he definitely, he definitely taught me about women. We definitely had the talk when I was first at 10. And then eventually that conversation grew more and more as I became more mature from teenager to also adulthood. Um, just whatever major, um, crossroads that happened in my life from my first kiss to my first date to my first relationship i'd say if i ever had a question my i would go to my dad and he would answer to the best of his ability um but besides my dad also other relatives and family members and friends that was more so i would say leading by example as in i would watch all of them interact, all my male counterparts interact with women and even women interacting with other women and seeing how they treated them. And I would kind of pin out which one, which things I believe that, you know, on how, to, on how I believe I should, how we should treat women and how I think we should not treat women. And I try to incorporate that into my life to the best of my ability as well. And, you know, there are other things that I'm still learning and still growing to um, make myself a better person, a better man to everyone in the world. And so it's something that I'm going to, it's a journey that I'm going to be on. And I think we are all going to be on for the rest of our lives. Um, also, did my mom teach me to conduct myself around women and to being a, being a gentleman with women? Um, yeah, she definitely, yeah, she definitely did teach me, you know, some of the qualities that she believes a gentleman should possess. And like I said, I will, I take what I believe that a gentleman, the qualities that a gentleman should should be and I try to incorporate that to the best of my ability in everything I do in my life now not now they all, here's the thing now my parents did not also teach me how to be a gentleman to just women but be a gentleman to everyone no matter who you are um but to him specifically yes she yes I would say that they did teach me um the things that they believe that a gentleman should possess and um yeah